Let's listen into the Wolfpack corner. Jamal Patterson. Light heavyweight Matt Horwich. It's the first time in International Fight League history we've had a rematch. The first one went to Patterson. They are coming up as you take a look at Fabio Leopoldo. Leopoldo has taken punches more than we have seen in International Fight League action. He's 2-0 and coming into this game. Yes. But you know what? He's been in situations like this before. Again, against Warren McGivern, I think he was also behind. And look at here, Harris right away jumps in very smart because he knows that if he's going to pull off this round, he's going to win the fight. A Leopoldo, man, he can't come back. You got to watch every second. Harris quick to the draw, but again, you can't stand enough with Leopoldo as he gets that up kick. Yeah, and it's legal. I mean, Leopoldo has so many dimensions to his game. I thought he fell there right at the triangle, but he did. He gets his hip touch with one arm bar. He should catch the head with his right foot. No, Horace could be in trouble. Leopoldo, can he pull this one up? No, it looks like he's just slipped out. His elbow just slipped out. Yeah, he's out. Whoa. And again, this cost a lot of power for Fabiano. Your whole body needs to work. Your back, your arms, everything. Pump the blood in there. Well, Gerald Harris out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, he's one of nine children. He said he learned about fighting early just growing up. Yeah. And he's <laughs> also a high school history teacher, and he loves his history, so he certainly knows about the great uh, Gracie family and the strong jiu-jitsu fighters in the Pitbull's corner. Yep, and he learns from his mistakes. <laughs> Knowing history, almost looked like he had a crucifix there, but he didn't. That would be very strange. Oh, all right, I would have uh, I didn't really connect. Two and a half minutes. Oh, the takedowns get a, a little bit more sloppy now. But you know what? On the feet, oh, both of them are tired. Both are running almost on fumes at this stage in these last two minutes, ten seconds of this fight. Leopoldo in the early going, though, very active. I think he won the first round. I think Harris won the second round. Yeah, but he had a ooh, God, oh, like a hard punch. punch. Right on the knocked him down. Yes, he did. Leopoldo going to the ground quickly. I wasn't sure if that landed hard enough to knock him down. No, and when he went down, he went right away for a submission again. And that's what I mean. Don't count him out. Although he might be high on points, he knows it. He, he needs the uh, submission right now. Leopoldo is such a smart fighter. He wasn't going to stand up and give Harris any more chances there. Let's get it on the ground again. Our attempt again. Yeah, oh, no, it's already almost out. He pulls it out. Spins oh. away again. Another Triangle. escape from Harris. Triangle attempt. One minute, 20 seconds. And out again. And Harris gets away from that again. Harris has to be impressing the judges with his escape maneuvers. It, it is escape maneuvers, but you also have to count the attacks the whole time. I think Leopoldo also should be uh, awarded for all those attempts he does. Then again, Gerald Harris is to be awarded for escaping those things. So right now in my book, I would say that Harris is ahead on points. Fifty-three seconds. Let's send it back out to Connecticut and our men on the scene, Kenny Rice and Boz Ruth. Thanks, Chris. A battle of unbeatens. The Portland Wolfpack and the New York Pitbulls coming into this evening. It is tied at one apiece. That tie will be broken in just a moment. Gerald Harris and Fabio Leopoldo, what an effort they put on for us tonight. It goes the distance. It's in the hands of the judges. Which team goes in front? Tim Hughes has the answer. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a classic mixed martial arts battle that goes to the judges' scorecards. We have a split decision. Judge Jeff Mullen scores the bout 30-27, Harris. 
Judge Cecil Peoples scores the bout 29-28, Leopoldo. And Judge Kevin Mulhall scores the bout 29-28 for your winner, Fabio Leopoldo. It was all the submission attempts that he did that gave him the victory, apparently. Well, you hear some of the mixed reaction from the crowd, but we knew this was, you said this would be a coin toss, basically. Yep. And losing his IFL debut in tough fashion is Gerald Harris, but Bobby Leopoldo remains unbeaten at 3-0 in the IFL, and his pit bulls are now up 2-1. Let's go now to Steven Quadro. Steven. Okay. Gerald, what's your opinion of that decision? I just did the best I could. And, and I, I guess you got to knock somebody out, you know, to determine that you're winning. But I, I don't have nothing to say, really. I'm not disappointed. I was upset, but whatever the judges say go, you know. They're the professionals. And I guess I should have did more. You really have a great anti-jujitsu game. Where did you develop that? Practice. Practice. <laughs> Just in practice. Working out with guys like Mikey Burnett, uh, Matt Lennon.